Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a three bedroom, two story travel trailer made by Forest River. This is the 2023 Forest River Salem Grand Villa model 42 DL. A huge RV, one of the biggest ones out there. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Salem and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to be showing you guys a two story, three bedroom RV, the Grand Villa. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good. I'm really excited to check this out, Matt. There can't be another fifth wheel or another travel trailer like this. Another RV like this. Another that. RV like this. Three bedrooms, yes. two stories, that's awesome. It sure is. And uh, we're gonna give you guys some more information about this unit. This is gonna be at the Tampa show this year and we are gonna be at the Tampa show handing out matt cash we will be at the keystone rv display can't wait to see everybody this year at the tampa show but will yes let's begin all right model is grand villa 42 dl the actual tip to tip length is 41 feet 10 inches the dry weight is 13,088 pounds and the hitch weight is 1855 pounds now will when yeah we come up here we're going to see a manual tongue jack right that's a Why lot of weight is this going to be a manual tongue jack because the idea is not to move it that often yes it is again that hitch weight is 1800 what was the length uh 41 feet 10 inches right it's long it's heavy Big, it's awkward um and you definitely need i mean you need a dually probably to, to move this around the whole idea of this is to have a permanent campsite yep. or a seasonal campsite take it there drop it off and leave let it. the dealership deliver it exactly. and don't even tow exactly. it exactly you don't even need a truck for this yeah you just tell somebody to deliver it propane tanks go here and your batteries go here and then well look at how not aerodynamic this is yep this is huge this is big this is bulky this is awesome on the inside i'm super excited to show you no different than the power tongue jack is the stabilizing jacks Yep. manuals they are made to set up one time and then be done with it yeah you, you don't need electric because you're not setting it up all the time very nice power awning with led lights there right here we do have a door to the bedroom with the black steps whamp, whamp. we do not like the black steps never do um, you know why they probably do that though because a lot of times people will take this and they'll put a wood patio well well you talked a little too soon because if i'm building a wood patio I'm putting it right here, you know what I'm saying? No, I agree, but you could have steps steps down to the lower patio. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't make them, I just sell them. Yep. Right here, we do have solid steps right here. Solid and steps. What the heck? <laughs> Speakers right here, not solid steps, but I'm thinking, well, see, here's where you're wrong. Because the patio would be here, and, and the patio would not be there. Huh? They made a wood patio. Right, you'd have a couple steps down to a lower patio. Right, so the solid steps would work well. I don't know, I don't know. Leave down in the comment below, let us know what you think. Okay. Uh, coming on down, look at these tires, Will. They're the Ranger STs. ST235-80R16. And again, with the, now these steps I don't mind because right. you are building the patio there, but those <clears throat> definitely do. 42 DL. Uh, this does not have the like a four season package. Again, this is more of a seasonal site. You put it on right. a lake or something like that. Coming on down. Coming around the back, there is no ladder to get up on the roof. There is two AC units. This is where you hook up your saddle, uh, your cable and satellite. And well, look how tall this beast is. It's huge. Unfreaking real. <clears throat> Finishing up, 50 amp service right there. Okay. Okay. Ah, here's where you get. Here's where you're dumping your tanks. I like how there's no slide outs on this side. They're yeah, all that's really very, nice. very easy. Potable water fill. Check this out. You know what this is? Uh, the Is it the back of the fridge? Water oh, heater. Oh, water heater, yeah. Residential style water heater right there. Nice. Fresh drain. This is where you're dumping everything. You even have a black tank flush there. Cool. Very, very nice. Very residential style. It is, yeah. And then over here, Sir William, is storage underneath the bed. Okay. 
Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, starting right here is the bedroom one. And then over here is bedroom two. And bedroom three is up there. We'll see that here, right there. And then bathroom right here. And then your kitchen, living area, and dining area right here. Where are we starting today? Did you show the upstairs? Just a peek. There you go. We will show everybody the upstairs, but first, we do have to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lipper. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lipper. Did you guys know Lipper does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I wanna show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can, you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the big bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Well, we are starting back here. I promise everybody we will show the upstairs in just a moment, but Will, look at how big and tall and residential it is. this feels. I can't even touch the ceiling. Wow. It's very awesome. I love it. Yes, sir. I love the big windows. Let's in so much natural light. Check out these balances. We do have privacy blinds right here. Okay. And then there's another big window right there. Right. Tons of natural light. Very nice sofa right here. And it does look like this does pull out to make a bed. And guess what, Will? You're going to do it? Yes, sir. Okay. The Thomas Paine Collection. All right. Let's check this out. Bada bing, bada boom. There you How go. about that? Very nice. Yes, sir. Try cushion, try fold. Yes, very big. And Will, this does feel like a wider unit as well. It does, yeah. It's probably a wide body or something. Sure is. And then look at the cushions with the nice stitching. Right. Looks great. And then over there is the entertainment center. Nice little side table with power. Oh, I missed that. Yes. Okay. Power and everything. Over here. Storage above. Okay. You can run some wires down just like that. Nice Insignia TV here. Furion sound system. And look at that mirrored fireplace. Yeah, that's cool. I've never seen one like that. Either. Here's what I do know. That fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. Okay. And it is directly across from the Thomas Paine Collection theater seats. Cool. Well, what comfy. a nice, so, so comfy and nice. You got cup holders here. Remote holder right Deep there. Storage, yeah. Yes, sir. This is super nice. Not only that, Will, not only do we have the AC units, you have a ceiling fan right yeah, there. Yeah, that's nice too. It is super nice. And yeah. then over here, nice flooring and everything. Okay. Flush floor. It's this uh like outdoor patio material. It's right, not, right. It's not like it's carpet. Very nice table and chairs. You got a little light right there. Big boy tested, big boy approved, and the kitchen does a very, very good job. Okay. And then we'll show us this uh kitchen. Show us the kitchen. Yeah. The dinette the does dinette a very does good, a good job. job. Okay, we'll start right over here. You got storage. All right. Nice little coffee nook here. All your controls and AC. You got storage underneath. And then over here, you have a nice big residential LG refrigerator and freezer underneath. Well, I feel like sometimes my mouth works faster than my brain. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> Storage You're not up supposed top. to agree to that. 
You got a nice LG microwave right there. Yes. It looks like a regular one. Correct. It is nice. Um, three burner Furion cooktop here and oven underneath also Furion. Yes. Nice window on your non-camping side there. Great storage up top here and here. Wow. Not solid surface countertops. Mm. You got power there. And then you got storage and a bunch of drawers here. If you look at that, very and, nice. And right, well, busting it up. Okay. Try it again. There we go. And it is uh, flush floor on that side, but it is not on this side. Right behind me is the uh, island. Nice spray faucet here. Hey, whatever happened to the island, boys? All right. That was yeah. so 2022. <laughs> You got double bowl sink here, stainless steel, and then some storage underneath wow. all the way across. Yes, sir. Got that one. Yep. I almost forgot this pantry, but you can never forget the pantry. Oh, hey! And the trash can. That's a $156 trash can. It sure is. Wow. And that's yeah. a huge pantry. It is a huge pantry. I like that. And you almost forgot about it because you don't really see one that big. I know. I know. All right. Did we do MSRP? We did not. Is it time? You know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Will, I purposely didn't do it because it's such a big trailer that... Oh, you need to break it up a little more. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Give, it, give it a nice... Give it some anticipation. And right there after the MSRP, we're going to skip the bathroom. Okay. We're going to go straight up upstairs. Okay. So make sure you guys stick around. MSRP on this unit, stock number 265696, is $95,737. Will... MSRP. Okay. Sale price. I don't currently know the sale price, but will I know we are selling this at the Tampa show? And Miss Jen, if we get the sale price, please present it right here. And will it doesn't matter if we had a sale price or if we don't currently have a sale price. If you buy it during the Tampa show or if you don't buy it during the Tampa show, the one thing that I know is that we're back with General RV That's right. and we are going to be able to get everybody the absolute best price in America. Yeah. So if you're interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked that down in the description below. We've also have it on our website or call 844-969-4033. We will get you with a member of our team and we will be able to get you the absolute best best price in america that's right will we're going upstairs okay we're gonna skip this bathroom folks okay before we go upstairs we do have a centralized vacuum there nice will yeah did i say that correctly that we're going upstairs yeah are we doing rv tours or tiny home tours? i know right all right so check this out okay here's bedroom number one look at this Super nice in here. I'm able to sit up here. I got plenty of headroom. Uh, you got this little light here, two twins. And then there is storage right in here. All right, Will. Yeah. You climb in on the other side. I don't think so. <laughs> Why not? It's a little too short for me, especially on that side. All right, here with my fat childish body. Okay. I will crawl on the other side thank you sir mm -hmm. and then this is definitely tighter as you can see i can't sit up but it there is railings and it does kind of lead into the um kitchen living area exactly and this is more like a loft area but again this is perfect for kids yep and this uh both sides you can have a TV with a backer. Cool. So you can have a TV up there. And then there is some storage behind me there. Nice. Again, this is, Will, for the non-paying customers. Exactly. Okay. All right. Bedroom number three now? No, we're going to do the bathroom. Bathroom? Okay. After I catch my breath. Yeah. All right, Will. Uh-oh. Forgot the lights in here. Stand in that shower. Okay. This is actually a nice big shower. Wow, I didn't think, I didn't think. Yeah, there's no skylight because the bedroom is right above. But, you know, it's definitely wide enough, deep enough, and you have the little seat there. And it's 
tall enough. It's yep. not great, but it definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. Sure and then, Will, what's that on the sink? That is Liquify. That is our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, we call it Liquify because it liquefies your waste and toilet does. paper. I tested it in my RV, and it's working great. And it smells like oranges. It smells like oranges. If you guys want that, you can now get that on Liquify on um, Amazon. Link down below. Yes. Right here, we do have a nice sink. Yep. Good countertop space, and you do have power behind that Liquify. Goodness gracious. There we go. Yes, well, sir. These drawers aren't going to come open when you're traveling. Oh. There you go. A little sponge thing. A little storage underneath there. Yep. Then if you come on out. Oh, you want to switch? Yes, sir. I will show everybody this. Okay. Nice storage. Cool. Okay. Porcelain. Un unreal. You know what's unreal about it? What? That this is a prime poop position. There Bing! you go. I tell you what, I, I'm an actor, Will. Yeah. People thought this was not. Yeah. And I tricked you them. You got them. I got them good. <laughs> right here, Will, something that we're not even focused on is the glass door. Right. I love this. I right. would totally make a patio and totally have this set up. This is absolutely phenomenal. It is. And then, Will. Yeah. Walking downstairs. Uh huh to the master bedroom look at this we always talk about non-paying customers shove them upstairs that's right look at this view i love that of the mountains of the lakes of whatever the, it is whatever this is awesome right here we got a nice king size bed big storage uh -huh. all above and all this around one? yes sir right there so nice look at what they're doing with the wallpaper there we have um Windows. Yeah, these blinds and everything. Black Very upstairs. nice. And then if you show us what we got going on there. Right here, you have a nice closet. Yes. What was that? Oh, okay. Um, and then storage underneath and storage here as well. These well, doors are so freaking stuck. I, I, I tell you, I think it's user error. It might be. And then here's another big pantry or uh, closet. But this one is also prepped for that stackable washer and dryer. Dang. Which is really nice. Well, this giving you all of everything. Yeah, it is. And then over here, I mean, look at how easy I get these drawers open. Yeah. I tell you, I think it's user error. I tell you. <laughs> As I good. say that, there you go. Very good sized drawers. There's a fifth one there. You are able to have a TV right here. And well, I'm just loving all this space and I'm I loving the natural it's light. It's comfortable. It sure is. Like this is more of a tiny home. Yep. I love it. And then storage underneath the bed. Cool. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this unit, three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like. You want to switch it up? Okay, you go first. All right, like number one, I'm going to say since we're in here, I'm going to give it to this bedroom. Yes. This bedroom is so comfortable. It's so roomy. And it doesn't even, like, look that good. But I think it's like that bump out, it's that deep slide, it's being a little bit wider. Not only that, you have headspace in here. You do, yeah. There's another person sleeping above you, but you right. still have headspace. Yeah, and the storage in here is, is incredible. That's number one. Yes. Well, number two for me, follow me. Okay. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Windows. Windows Absolutely galore. Absolutely everywhere. Well, we have this thing lit up. We don't even need it lit up. We really don't. It is so bright in here. I freaking love it. The windows are fantastic and phenomenal. And I just love the windows. Yes. That's number two. And then number three, Will? Like number three, I have to give it to the two kids' bedrooms, call it. The lofts. Yes. Um, Like you don't see that very often. And this is so perfect for a family wanting to go to the lake house on the weekend. Yep. Um, you know, it's just so cool. I, I love that. And well, the kids have their own privacy, but it's not like you need to build this big house either. Correct. So many times, Will, when you're in bunkhouse units, 35% yeah. of the RV is dedicated to that bunk room. Yes. You don't get rear living rooms. You don't get big kitchens. You don't get big master bedrooms. This is pretty much a couple's unit. This is your fifth wheel. Yeah. But with two additional bedrooms. Yeah. So it's your fifth wheel that you can bring guests. You I know agree. what I'm saying? Yep. Freaking love that. Well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't love about it. 
Well, I'm going to go first. Okay. I'm going to say the so no solid steps. Yeah, okay. Will and I, we were debating. We love each other, okay? <laughs> we were debating, and I disagree with Will. I do believe you're going to build a patio right there with that glass door, but that second door, I want to see solid steps. Okay. That's just my personal dislike number one. Will, what's your dislike number two? Dislike number two for me is going to be the toe kicker here. Mm. Um, and it's it's like extra bad too because right here because it like curves in. Okay. So I don't know, and it, it just it's just really in the way, and they did it on that slide. Truthfully, I think it's more important on this slide to have no step up. Um, no, I disagree. I There's think table and chair. Yep. Yeah. But again, but I I I they could have done both. Right. Exactly. Okay. That's number two, and then Will. I have a dislike that we've never had on the show before. Okay, give it to us. You ready for this? Yeah. Dislike number three, Sir William, is how dark the shower is. Yeah, it is, because there's no skylight in exactly. there. Exactly, So, but I feel like you're taking a shower in the dark. Yeah. Um, And like, I wish somehow they were able to put a light shining into the shower. Yeah. The shower's good. I just but wish- put a light there above it. Exactly. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this unit, again, go to generalrv.com slash Matt's We've linked that website down below. We also have it on our website, mattsrvreviews.com, or call 844-969-4033. We're General RV. We sell these nationwide, guys. Reach out to us. Not only are we going to get you the best price in America, but we can sell this to you virtually anywhere. You know what yep, I'm saying? Exactly. We're just a click away or a phone call away. If you, We can't wait to see everybody this year at the Tampa RV Super Show. We Our tent is going to be at the Keystone RV display. Make sure you follow General RV on all social media because we are going to be doing some surprises, some giveaways, some something, and we're not going to let people know off of YouTube. We're only going to let people know based off of General RV's website. Yes. Also, finally, make sure you get liquefied. This our brand of RV toilet chemical. It's the absolute best. Link that down below or you go to primepoopmusician.com to pick up a bottle. That's right. Will, what do you want to say to America? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching and checking out this really cool fifth wheel. We can't wait to meet all of you at the Tampa show. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this RV. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Will, we'll see you next time.